What's up, gang? Glad you're back. Um, this is going to be something a little bit different. I'm not reacting to anything. I'm just going to be discussing something. Specifically, I'm going to be discussing Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Because I got some thoughts on it. I've been dwelling on it. Finally got around to seeing it over the weekend. And uh, on the second weekend. And um, man, I think Marvel made a mistake here. I think they made a major mistake. I know everybody wanted or or everybody kind of expected Shuri to be Black Panther. Um, there's history in the comic books of her being Black Panther and being the a, a member of the royal family. Um, it's expected to pass to her, I guess. But they kind of broke the rules in this movie, so I'm not really sure now if that's a logical reason for it. So here, here's what I'm thinking. First of all, first of all, I'm going to say this. Uh, Letitia Wright as Shuri in this movie was fantastic. I loved it. Um, they put the weight of, of that movie on her, and she carried it really well. Um, I think there were some weak points in the script and in the plot that she had nothing to do with. I think that her acting was spot on and she was fantastic. I think she held her own up against uh, uh, Denegria and up against Angela Bassett and uh, just did a fantastic job. And, and, and she did what they asked her to do and she did it fantastically well. I thought like her emotional moments were, were impactful. Um, there are going to be spoilers in here, by the way. So if you have not seen Wakanda Forever, you might want to stop now. But there are going to be some spoilers ahead. Uh, but at the beginning, when they had the pant, when they had the funeral for T'Challa, um, I didn't expect to get emotionally hit like that. Uh, I mean, I knew it was going to be a funeral, and I was like, "Okay, this is going to be sad." But when 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 they all stepped back and they were waiting for the casket to go up, and then she rushes forward and and crashed on the casket. Um, like I'm not kidding, man. I about lost it. I about lost it. Like I really felt for her losing her brother. It was amazing. And she got me at the end too. Yeah. Uh, at the end, uh, in the final scene, um, like just without saying a word, just that look in her eyes, that expression on her face, like, of course, mixed with the montage, um, just, uh, just fantastic. Like to hit me emotionally like that was was a was was a, a job well done because that can't happen a lot to me. And she did a fantastic job, and I think she is an amazing actress, and I love her in this role. That said, I don't think making Shuri the Black Panther was the right move here. Um, and I have several reasons for it. So hear me out. And I'm going to try and be quick about this. I don't want this to drag out into a half hour conversation or anything. And if you have anything uh, to add to this, I would definitely love for you to drop me a comment, please. Um, and let me know what you think. Please hit that like button. Share this video with your friends and with all the people you don't know and uh, get it around. I'd really appreciate it. But for for a couple reasons here i think that making shuri the black panther moving forward in the mcu was um not a great move i don't think shuri the character not Letitia wright but the character um is the right person for that role i think there were at least three other people that could have filled that role based on what the script did. I think Okoye would have made a great Black Panther. I think that um, Nakia would have made a great Black Panther. Uh, I think M'Baku would have made a great Black Panther. I don't think Shuri makes a great Black Panther. Here's why. She's a scientist, first of all. She's not a combat fighter. She doesn't know anything about combat. Um, the only time we've ever seen her fight is when she had her sonic fist things at the end of um, Black Panther 1. And she's throwing out her fist and, uh, with the sonic blast or whatever those were in that final fight. 
that is the extent of her combat experience. Uh, everything else she did, she did in the lab. She was virtually controlling the car and the chasing in the first movie. Um, she was working in the lab when, in, during a, the uh, Infinity War. Um, she was she's not a combat expert. And taking her and making her the Black Panther and putting her in that final fight against Namor. And I'm not going to say Namor. His name is Namor. Screw you, MCU. Putting her in that final fight against Namor was a mistake. It she did not pull it off well. She was not. I didn't believe. I didn't believe any of that fighting. Um, I don't think she had the physical build to to pull that off. That she looked like a toned seasoned fighter, like a Koya and Nakia do. Um. And I just don't, I, I, it just didn't fit. For, I was watching it just going, no, nah, this doesn't, this doesn't work. This doesn't work for me. Here's why you had, first of all, Koye, first and foremost. Um, if you're going to make her uh, one of the, one of the midnight angels, uh, along with, um, Anika, that's fine. That's, that's comic book lore. And I get that. Um, I don't know if it's necessary, but, that aside, I think that Koye is a much better combatant and a combat fighter to hold the mantle of Black Panther. I think she would have done a much better job in taking on that mantle, especially after losing her place in the Doma and 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 in the uh, Dora Minaj. I can never remember how to say in the Dora. And getting kicked out of there and then becoming Black Panther, I think, would have been a great step up for her. But if you're going to keep, if you're going to go by the lore and use her and Anika to become the Midnight Angels now and start the Midnight Angels, that's fine. So she's out. But then you have Nakia. So Nakia is a proven fighter, a proven tactician, proven espionage uh, from the first movie and this movie. Um, proven combat fighter in both movies um, and just uh, 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 could completely fill that role she would she would and, and stepping in and taking over for for her for her dead lover boyfriend whatever he was to her um, I don't think they were married so but t stepping up and taking over that role I think would have been a great move for her and coming back from being absent for six years and coming back and taking on that role and coming back to Wakanda and taking on that role, I think would have had a bigger story impact and would have been a better tale. Since Shuri at the end did not compete to be the leader of Wakanda, even though she was Black Panther and M'Baku instead issued the challenge, assuming M'Baku is the next leader of Wakanda Barring somebody else actually stepped up and beat him, although I don't know who that would be. Uh, I'm I'm sure they left that open just in case they have a story idea later. I don't know, but in Baku becoming king, naturally wouldn't that have if, if if the Black Panther is always king and the king is always Black Panther, if in Baku becomes the king of Wakanda, shouldn't he be the Black Panther? Definite combat experience, leadership experience. Uh, and he would, and, and, and he would have filled that, filled that role perfectly bigger dude. You know, you'd have to get a bigger suit for him, but he could have been black Panther and had every, and, and, and apparently would have had the right, but apparently now they're throwing that out the window and you, you don't get to be black Panther just because you're King and you're no, and you're not the ruler just because you're black Panther. So if anybody can be black Panther, why is Shuri the black Panther? I don't get it. And I, and I know they did it because I, I, I don't know if they did it. I, I didn't follow Black Panther in the comic books uh, when all that happened and Shuri became Black Panther. Um, I don't know if they were trying to stick to that or if they just felt like that was a natural progression, but I really think that they missed an opportunity to let Shuri be Shuri and perhaps be and, and perhaps start the Midnight Angels with Okoye. Go and get Okoye and start the Midnight Angels with her and Okoye and Anika and whoever else and, and become the Midnight Angels. 
instead of being the Black Panther. Because I don't think that she serves well as a Black Panther. She is not combat experienced. She did not look good in that fight. She did not have, I mean, even even in the limited fighting that Anika in that Anika did, uh, not Anika, uh, Nakia did. Um, she was a better she was a better combat artist than than Shuri was. Okoye by far. It, it would have been the probably the most logical if you're going to go female. Probably what should have been Okoye, but and then and then Shuri and Anika or Nakia and Anika becoming the Midnight Angels, and and her giving up her role to the throne and taking up that mantle to know that I'm not worthy enough to be the Black Panther. Let that fall to Mbaku or whoever the leader of Wakanda is, but I can do this if. She wants to get into combat, but she's a scientist. That's where her strength is. Her strength is in the lab. Her strength is, is with everything she does, creating the heart shaped herb, doing the VR technology and everything else that she does. That's where her strength lies. And she shows it again when her and Riri go in and, and, you know, put together the suit and, and everything else that they do, creating the heart shaped herb and everything. That just proves that she belongs in the lab and not in the field. So I think they blew it. I think I think they messed up. And um, I think they really spent a great opportunity to really pump up some of the other um, characters to step up. I'm glad Okoye and Anika are the Midnight Angels. Um, I hope they utilize them pretty well. Uh, but I really hope that somebody steps back and goes, you know what? Um, I think Nakia would be better as a Black Panther than Shuri. I don't think, because Shuri does not make a good Black Panther. I want her to. I really do. But that fight was just, I, I just did not believe any part of that fight. I didn't believe any part of that Shuri suddenly knew how to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a 500-year-old warrior. Taking on all that combat experience and everything else, I don't care how good your suit is. You, you know, just not being able to. And why didn't you build your suit the way you had your brothers built? So it had the vibranium absorption with the energy release back. Why wasn't that a factor? Why Why would you take out that benefit? Especially considering you're not combat as efficient as they are, as he was. So anyway, that's my two cents. And I just wanted to put that out there and discuss it because I feel like I need to get it off my chest. Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your comments on it and uh, discuss it with you guys. So please drop me a comment below, hit the like button, hit the share button. And uh, thank you for giving me your time. I really appreciate it. In the meantime, please check out this other stuff I have for you. And uh, we got some other uh, videos dropping this week. So please check them out. And I uh, hope you guys have a very happy holidays coming up. And uh, we'll see you next time. Love you guys. Bye.